everybody. The question this time around is, is Halloween evil? Now, you know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say for all kinds of reasons. But it's a question worth talking about anyway, because if you're the kind of person that watches my videos and maybe reads my blog and does those kinds of things, it means that you've got people in your life who are probably worried for your immortal soul right now. So let's think about how to talk through that because we're not ever going to be the kind of people that just say, nope, you're wrong, we're not talking, I don't like you kind of thing. Let's find out how to grow through dialogue in all areas of our lives. So is Halloween evil? You know that I don't believe that it is. You probably don't believe that it is either, right? Now, I know some people say, well, but Halloween derives from pagan rites and rituals, and isn't that bad? Something? Anti-Christian? Something like that? Well, there's a lot of things we can say about that. Now, first of all, I know a good number of pagans and very few of them believe in the Christian concept of the devil or even the devil at all. Devil worship, satanic stuff is very different than what the average pagan person is into. It's a completely different thing. It's like a Catholic rabbi. It's not, those two things don't really go together. But more than that, as far as things that are derived from pagan stuff, you mean like Christmas trees or Easter eggs and the list goes on and on and on. That's not the thing, guys. Let's find ways to pick and choose what works, what's healthy, what's healing, what's growing, and go and grow from there. Is Halloween evil? No, of course not. At the end of the day, what it is is an opportunity for kids to be kids, to play, and to put on a new identity just for one night, to imagine that you could be anything that you wanted to be. How bad is that? What if us grown-ups took a minute and said, you know, if I could be anything I wanted to be, what would I try on just for one night? You know, what would you be? And maybe through exploring that, you can start to make some changes in your life to be a little bit closer to that aspirational hero, powerful person. You know, try that. It's also a time when people... Uh, Check out the boundaries between what's acceptable and what's scary, and that's a beautiful thing too, because let's be brave. Let's be the kind of people who can lean into fear and recognize that, you know what, no matter what, I can face my fears and it's not so bad. One way or another, this is a pretty good thing. And I like the idea that we reward with candy people who try this, people who step out through fear, people who aspire to a better version of themselves. These are things that we can build on all year long. Is Halloween evil? No, far from it. You know what's evil? Is forcing people to agree with you through fear. You know what I mean? And that's not something that we're going to do anymore. Some people are so afraid of Halloween that they say, you know what, just come to the church parking lot and we'll have a trunk or treat and everybody can gather around and trick or treat out of people's trunks. I'm not sure it's really healthy to teach, teach children to walk up to total strangers and see what's in the trunk of their car, but that's a separate issue. At the end of the day, you're still dressing up. You're still doing the thing, right? You know what? In real life, a lot of people are dressing up. They're putting on a costume that's not who they really are. On this one day a year, people can decide to dress like who they want to be. Let's get better at that. Let's decide that, you know what, at the end of the day, is Halloween evil? No, and in fact, nothing is evil. No thing is anything but a thing. Is this book evil? Is this outfit evil? Is this hat evil? Is this sandwich evil? I've had some bad sandwiches in my time, but uh, none of them qualify, you know? Things aren't good or bad or anything. They're just things. What you do, what you say, what you think can create and destroy. What you do, what you say, what you think can help or hurt. You get to decide. Life is what you do with it. Life is what you connect with. Life is what you're alive to and what you carry forward to other people. So let's stop worrying about the boogeyman going to jump out from behind the shrubbery. And let's realize that we're all in this together, that we have an opportunity to be who we want to be. Let's find that version of ourselves and show it to the world. So, as always... Thanks for the questions. These are great. Keep them coming. Thanks for sending them in by going to my website, waypastok.com, by tweeting or Instagramming with the hashtag AskDieter. 
all of it. Thank you so much for all the people that have bought my new book, Meaning Fulfilled. You can find more about that and my blog posts and a bunch of other stuff by going to waypastok, W-A-Y-P-A-S-T-O-K-A-Y.com. And above all, thank you for liking and subscribing. And please, please, please keep on sharing these videos. It means everything to me. You got this.